Hello, welcome to Central North Dakota. I grew up on a farm about a half mile over the hill there, standing on a wooden bridge, which we used to refer to as the wooden bridge. Now, let me say this, I want to apologize for not getting a video out uh, the last several weeks. I've been in North Dakota the last two, uh, dealing uh, with, with family issues and, and, and other personal things. I've got wounded knee number one coming out shortly uh, once I get back to Indiana and then I'll be able to crank out uh, wounded knee two and we'll follow that up uh, probably in the next four to five weeks from the date of this video with the final uh, episode of, of wounded knee before uh, moving on to other endeavors. So when I was a wee lad this bridge and, and the tracks here and the trees around it used to be my, my playground. So when I was about eight years old I think that was the first time I saw bridge on the river Kwai so I've conducted maybe five or six dozen raids on the wooden bridge here. Not all of them successful, of course. So one of the great things to do on this bridge is to watch, at the time it was Burlington Northern, now it's Burlington Northern Santa Fe, is to uh, watch the trains go through. So I'll set up some cameras and get the drone up. And, and if you like trains, maybe you'll like the video. If not, we'll catch you shortly. All right, here comes the train. Elias, get your men ready. O'Neill, your short timers stay in, but you go out. I need veterans out there. I think in front of the men, it's necessary for me to give the orders. Yes, sir. Arm the detonator. Now. Again. Cease fire! Cease fire! Sergeant, send in the drone. What have I done? You gonna play cards, Lieutenant? <laughs> Wouldn't want to get raped by you guys. Why is that, Lieutenant? What are you saving up to be? Jewish? <laughs> Alright, enough of those shenanigans. As you can see, we're at the world's largest truck stop. And 27 days and three hours ago, I stopped here heading west. And I've been on the road ever since. Well, now I'm heading east on the final leg of this journey. While I was on the road, I did get a couple days to myself. And on one of them, I went back to my alma mater, the University of North Dakota in Grand Forks, and stumbled into something that, quite frankly, took me by surprise and actually choked me up for a second or two. Here's that story. For the first time since my commissioning in May of 1988, I returned to the ROTC Armory at UND. While shooting the bull in the cadet lounge with the future leaders of this country, I happened to walk past this trophy, which caught my eye. Like a photo opportunity in Baghdad, I was stopped in my tracks. It was the original trophy of the Ranger Challenge team captains. I was on the first team under Matt Lachance while a private in the North Dakota National Guard striving for a scholarship. With scholarship in hand, 
I was team captain as a sophomore and junior, a position earned, not given. My senior year was a different animal, and I had no intention of participating. Too many papers and too much responsibility. But pressure and duty are great motivators. Because of an injury, the team needed a body, a slot to fill. And I was the poor bastard they looked to, and I had to step up to the plate and support the lads. As the Brits like to say, Good show. Jolly good show, Major. Speaking of a good show, I've got a special giveaway for all of you who are fascinated by Custer's Last Stand. This book is called Drawing Battle Lines, the map testimony of Custer's last fight by Michael Donahue, and it offers a unique perspective on the battle. The maps you'll see in this book were drawn by people who had direct or indirect knowledge of the events, whether soldiers, warriors, or civilians. These drawings, these literal battle lines, are a window into the enduring mystery of Custer's last stand. And as Donahue shows us, a picture is truly worth a thousand words. I've included a link to an interview Donahue did on the Battle of Gettysburg podcast. Be sure to have a look and tell James Hessler that the Data Meister sent you, and be sure to subscribe to his podcast. Now, how can you win this incredible book? I'm doing the drawing on Veterans Day, November 11th, 2024. All you need to do is sign up on my Patreon channel. No need to pay for a subscription. Just become a member. If you are a paid subscriber, you get five entries in the drawing instead of just one. So, head over to my Patreon, sign up, and you'll be entered to win. All right, I guess that's it. Bugler, sound a horse. Thank <laughs> you.